I'm still a little confused. Mm -hmm. So what's the benefit of this strategy and what pain or problems does it fix and solve? Yeah. So there's um, a couple. So number one, so the number one benefit of this is guaranteed growth. So this is based off the whole life insurance policy is based off of growing guaranteed wealth. Um, the When you start a, a policy, there's kind of two sections to the policy. There's the guaranteed growth, the projections that the insurance company says, for example, if you're going to fund a policy over 30 years, they say, if you put in $10,000 a year for 30 years, we'll guarantee you X amount of dollars during this duration of 30 years, plus more in the future. Plus we'll guarantee you the life insurance. And then also if everything goes well, we'll also give you dividends on top of your cash value. Dividends are not guaranteed, but we, we only work with insurance companies who have a proven track record of paying out dividends for over a hundred years. So in other words, so the first benefit is the guaranteed growth and the, and the high certainty of dividends being paid over time. Number two, um, there's a lot of tax benefits behind this. So number one, the, the, ta the, the way the policy grows and accumulates with interest and dividends, it's growing tax deferred. So for example, you have $100,000 in cash value year one, year two, it grows to $105,000. You don't pay taxes on that growth. It grows tax deferred. Also, in most situations, when you go to take money out of the policy, either through loans or withdrawals, that's also going to be tax free because if you use after tax dollars to fund the policy and under current tax law, loans and uh, withdrawals on life insurance policies that are non modified endowment contracts, non MEC policies are currently tax free. So a lot of tax advantages. Also, the death benefit is income tax free to your beneficiaries. It could be exposed to state taxes, but it's income tax free to your uh, beneficiaries, either your family or if you own a business, the business would get that income tax free. Um, the fourth, it's not affected, which kind of goes with number one, is not affected by market conditions. So that means if you have all this money in whole life insurance and then there's a major market crash or a recession, it's not going to affect the cash value of your policy. Um, the, the way the whole life insurance company pays out interest and dividends is not correlated with market conditions with the stock market. It's They're mostly invested in private loans and button in the bond market. So um, it's not going to be hindered by market conditions. And then also you have guaranteed access to the policy loans and withdrawal. So for example, let's say um, you've been building up a policy, you have $100,000 in cash value. Next thing you know, there's another 2008 that happens, another market crash happens, banks aren't giving out loans, um, market values have dropped. You can go to your policy that didn't drop in value based on market conditions and the insurance company will guarantee you your ability to borrow against your money. Uh, they'll give you, it's, it's guaranteed to take out a loan against it. The only collateral you need is just the policy itself. You don't need any other collateral, no credit check, no credit scores, um, no other property to put up, nothing, no other collateral, but the policy itself. So this kind of opens up the doors when other people can't take out loans in, in poor economic times, you would be still be able to do that in your policy. It wouldn't be affected by market conditions and you wouldn't need any other way to uh, take the money out. And then also, I guess the sixth benefit is in most states, the cash value of the whole life policy is protected from creditors and judgment. So this means, you know, if you've been building up cash value in a policy, somebody sues you for whatever happens, you know, check with your lawyer about this. But in most states, you could look this up. The cash value is outside of kind of it's an exempt asset. So it doesn't really count when you're being sued. Again, I'm not a lawyer. So um, check with your lawyer about that. But in most situations, there's a lot of assets protection be behind the use of dividend paying whole life insurance. Mm -hmm. Thank you.